Hi guys, this is Miss Beekman reporting to you live from my house. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. I wanted to share a quick lesson with you guys today about the woodwind family of instruments. So first, do you guys know any woodwind instruments? Can you think of any? Hmm. Well, I was thinking maybe we could learn all of them together today with a book that I really like, which is called Opening Night with the Woodwind Family. Opening Night with the Woodwind Family by Trisha Speed Shaskin. And my cat Amos is hanging out back there as well. He's ready to listen to this story. Are you guys ready? Okay. Bonjour, my name is Aubois. It's French for oboe, and that's what I am. My sister Clara is a clarinet. My brother Flint is a flute. My mom is a bassoon, and my dad is a saxophone. Together, we're the woodwind family. So here's Obwa, the oboe, Clara, the clarinet, saxophone dad over here, Flint, the flute, and mom, the bassoon, is this big one right here. Check her out. We're called woodwinds because we need air or wind to make music. Woodwind musicians usually blow across a reed attached to a mouthpiece. Clarinets, oboes, bassoons, and saxophones have reeds. Flutes don't. When air moves through woodwinds, we sing. So you can see the reed on our clarinet right here and its mouthpiece. The reed on our oboe is a little different. It kind of sticks off the top right there. And the bassoon's reed would be right about here. You can't see the saxophone reed in this picture. It would be on the other side of the mouthpiece down here. And our flute over there, he doesn't have a reed. Our family name is a bit confusing. We're called woodwinds, but not all of us are made of wood. Flutes are made of metal. So are saxophones. My family is getting ready for a big concert tonight at Orchestra Hall. We've been practicing all summer. Mom says I can be a tricky instrument to play, but she loves how I sound sweet and sad all at once. To play an oboe, a musician blows air across a double reed. The ends of the reed vibrate against each other between her lips. To make different sounds, the musician presses down on keys. The keys cover holes in the oboe's body. When more holes are covered, a lower sound is made. When fewer holes are covered, a higher sound is made. A lot of you guys already know that because you are playing recorders. And you know that when we remove fingers, the sound goes up, and as we add fingers, the sound goes down. My mom has a double reed too. She can be just as tricky to play as I am. She's the lowest sounding instrument in our family. I think she's also the most talented. Bassoons are heavy. To help hold the instrument, a musician sits on a strap connected to the bassoon's bass. She can sound happy, then sad. She plays high nasally notes and low buzzing notes. My dad is one cool saxophone. He used to have his own jazz band. Like mom, dad can play high happy notes and low mysterious or sad notes. He can whisper, he can shout, he can laugh, cry, and surprise. Jazz is a style of music that began in the Southern United States. African Americans were the first to play jazz. To play a saxophone, a musician often sits in a chair with the instrument at his right side. My sister Clara and I kind of look alike, but clarinets have their own sound. Clara is a great storyteller. She doesn't hit the highest notes or the lowest notes, but she does hit all the notes in between, and there are a lot of them. Clarinets, like saxophones, have only one reed. When a musician blows into a clarinet, the reed vibrates against the mouthpiece and makes sound. Flint has the highest voice in our family. When he practices, it's magical. 
His notes lift and dance into the air like birds. To play a flute, a musician holds the instrument out to one side. Then he blows across an oval shaped hole. It's like blowing into a bottle. If you guys have a bottle at home, you could try that yourself. Try blowing across the top of a bottle and see if you can make a sound. Later in the afternoon, my family meets in the living room. I'm not the biggest or flashiest instrument, but I'm pretty important. I start by holding one special note. The oboe is the one instrument to which all the other instruments in an orchestra are tuned. Once everyone is tuned, we practice together for the last time. Then we get out our cleaning and repair kits. We have to be in tip-top shape for tonight's concert. A musician's breath makes a woodwind instrument wet inside. Musicians must dry their instruments before putting them away, or mold could grow. Gross. We're finally here! Orchestra Hall! I play my one special note and all the other instruments tune themselves to me. Saxophones play an important part in concert bands, marching bands, and jazz bands, but they aren't a part of a standard orchestra. Oh, I see some other instruments in the audience. Do you guys recognize any of those instruments? I think we've got a trombone over here. Maybe a cello. She seems pretty big over there. A French horn right here. Maybe a tuba and a xylophone on the end. The lights dim, the hall quiets, the conductor lifts her arms and we play. The crowd goes wild. They love us. We'll be back for another show soon. <laughs>